called Full Create, and today I'm gonna try and do a make a makeshift cheap fidget spinner that you might have in a cereal barn ground in your house for. So um, let's get started. I took I got five cards, just normal playing cards that I'm gonna use and cut from the base. I got three metal balls. You can use marbles probably that I'm going to put inside. And then I have Legos. This is gonna be instead of the ball bearing, I will have this and then this will not act this is all going to be big. It's already scheduled, but let's see if you can get into it. I will start off and take some scissors. And actually I wait. Hold on. Yeah. I will be right back. I want to go get a sharpie to sort of outline what I'm going to cut. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am at circle marked where I'm going to where I want this to be and I don't know if you could see here but there is a little bit of an indent so I'm going to cut just the bit for the inside or just on the inside of that circle so I will take my utility knife ah it's so hard what scissors So I have the cork hole cut in the center where it will be. And so I'm just going to try and safely push this through. And then uh, one more overlap. Okay, there you go. It ends smoothly. And yeah, right here. We're fine. I'm going to be putting duct tape over this so that all these cards don't separate. And I decided to use three, mainly because five, that's too much, and three seems like it'd be a good thickness. And I hope I have support for the balls. Um, yeah. <coughs> So, um, I will have to grab duct tape, but once again, me being unprepared, so I'll grab duct tape, uh, electrical tape or something to keep it together. So I'll be right back for the third time. Okay, guys, so I got duct tape. I'm going to cut this into a diamond shape so um it'll flow better like this i hope <laughs> i'm i cut it so it would uh, fit for my fingers and so now i'm going to for two of the balls, one here and one on the other side. So, once again, take my utility knife. Hmm. Take the hole. Take my scissors. This 
is gonna be hard to be able to learn with the phone. And I left all the cards. Okay guys, so I'm back. Some of these things, and so, um, yeah, what I think I need to do now is take this and duct tape it, uh, and then put the glue in there. What I'm wondering though is, can it spin well enough on its own? And the answer is no, it cannot, for many reasons. One, because there is much, much friction in the way. Like, yeah. If I get this one, it spins really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hot glue this wheel thing onto the duct tape. And then afterwards, I'm going to take this and then use them to um, stop it from spinning around. Okay, so I'll be right back one more time. Okay, guys, so hot glue them speed it up. Uh, and so I, I'm just going to glue this in place. Oops, there's just a piece of hot glue that was going there. So I just am trying to hot glue this in place. Just trying to hot glue a circle around there. Also, I'll get rid of all these uh, hot glue strings. Because that never helps. So now I go to the other side. Both sides hot glue. And I want to let this set and I want to unplug my hot glue gun so it can cool down. Ah. So guys, as this hot glue cools, I want to tell you how I'm gonna do this. So as of how I'm going to hold it uh, so it can spin best, I'm going to have it on this. And then on one side, I'm going to put this little uh, loop. It's basically like a Lego wash, what I call it. And then I'm going to put this and have it go in from here. The reason I'm using an, uh, not another one of these is because... Okay, you fell off my stand. So, um, the reason I'm not using another one of these is because, um, it won't have enough space to spin freely with another one of those, but with this, it does. I don't know how much sense I just made right there, but it's gonna be good. So now, that this hot glue is set, I will try and take off some of the strings and the excess things that will screw up my results. And so there we go. I'm going to be right back and put you on the stand. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Hot glue settled. I'm here back on my stand, and so basically right now I'm going to put this through the hole, the 
this on the one side and this on the other. But when I slip it in, notice right here, I don't know how well you can see that, but I can move it around more, but you can see it better right over here. If you look um, right there, you can see how there's a little gap. Now if I go like this, it should. Yeah. Spins. I think the only fun part about this is when it's spinning and you get it like spinning really fast. The like how it feels when it's turning like that. But if you ask me if I think there's any improvements this that could be made to this. Yes, yes, there is many, many improvements that could be made to this fidget spinner. For example, you could use actual bearings. You could not use cards. But you know what? For a cheap fidget spinner, I think that works out fine. Probably like, like a pack of cards, like $2.00. And so you need three cards and some Legos. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video on Build for Create. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me if what you want me to do next. I'll try and see if I can do it. And yeah, I'll just try and tell me if I can do.